is another wonderful day God had bestowed upon us. We are the group four and we are going to share to you some information of the traditional game Luxung Tinik. Luxung Tinik. Hmm, does it ring a bell? Had you played the game during your childhood? Well, I guess you had. So, are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Good day everyone, I'm Anna Mayala from Group 4 and for today's video, we will talk about one of the most famous traditional games we used to play during our childhood days. Before, we don't have mobile phones to call our friends but instead, we walk up to another house and personally invite them to play. Before, it was easy to assemble friends, everyone was a call away and once we were together, we decided which game to play. So one of the games we used to play during our childhood days is Luxong Tinik. This is a game that uses no toys but instead we use only our arms and legs to execute this activity. Mr. Emmanuel Lopez will explain to us what is Luxong Tinik. So thank you so much for that very exciting introduction, Ms. Alaw. So once again, I'm Lopez Emmanuel. So what is Luxong Tinik all about? So Luxung Tinik means jump over the thorns. It is one of the most popular Filipino game during 80s to early 20s. This game is almost alike with the Luxung Baka or the jump over the cow. But it is in a different version. Because in this game, we use a stack of hands to increase the difficulty of level. While in Luxung Baka, we only use the back of the players. The players need to succeed on jumping over the stack of hands and feet by the it without touching the its hand by any part of their body. The it is an English version of Taya. Once they touch or fail to jump over the thorn of stock, hands and feet, they will going to be the it in the next round. To know more about the history of this game, Miss Pakoltad Erika will explain it further. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. So, history of Luxong Tinik. Luxong Tinik is originated in Cabanatuan, Nueva Ecija, played by two teams with equal numbers of players. Each team designates a leader, the nanay or mother, while the rest of the players are called anak or children. The players chosen to be nanay are usually the ones who can jump the highest. The game involves players sitting on the ground and other players jumping over the parts of their body. Basically, you just jump over people's feet which is meant to be the tinik, which one foot or hand of the two players sitting on the ground will be added after all players have jumped to the first round. Miss Yunazel Tawanda will explain to us the mechanics of Luxung Tinik. Thank you Miss Pakultad for sharing the colorful history of the traditional game Luxung Tinik. So now let us know the mechanics of it. The main goal of the game is for all players in the team to jump over the height of the piled hands of the posing team. A player must avoid hitting the piled hands with any part of his body or clothing. So in this game, we have two mothers or we could say leaders, no? The two mothers are expected to be high jumpers. The first to jump is decided by the mothers by tossing a slipper. Um, the mother whose team wins the toss will have the first jump. The other team will serve as the taya or on base and form the tinik or the thorns using their feet and their hands. The two players on the base will sit facing each other putting their foot forward and touching the other player's foot. Then, each member of the other team starts jumping over the feet. So, when all members are done jumping over the feet, the players on the base will add hand at the time. So, the palm of the fingers are open wide above their feet and the same process is repeated until all base players have piled um, their hands over. No? So, when all jumpers have successfully jumped over without hitting the hands of the base players, the game is repeated with the jumpers slipping over and over again. So, if the mother's children will hit the hands of the players, it is considered as fault or an error. The mother then jumps for the earring child or tubus. No? If the mother fails in making the successful jump, then it's time for the base players to take their turn to jump. Now, 
for all of you to fully understand the game, we will show you the video on how to play the traditional game, Luxong Tinik. Takbo, 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 luksa, luksong tinik. Tangkal, tangkal, ang taas ng kamay, pati paa at kukong patahay. Takbo, lukso, at wag na wag na wag kang sasablay. Kapag sumabit ay mataradagan, mga tinik na kailangan lakawan. Takbo, lukso, sikaping mangibabaw ka. Takbo, 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 lukso, lukso ng tinik, lukso ng tinik. Takbo, 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 lukso, lukso ng tinik, lukso ng tinik. Pag ikay natusok, ako ang lulukso. Pag ako'y natusok, ikaw ang lulukso. Tangkal, tangkal, ang taas ng kamay